We begin now at the top of Daf Nun Vav Amid Beis in Maseches Brachas. This is Brachas Daf Fifty Six B. The Gemara was in the middle of a story about Barhedya. Barhedya would uh, interpret dreams poorly or for bad. Uh, in negative connotations if he didn't get paid. So the Gemara here continues the story that when he interpreted the dream of the king poorly, Shiroi de Malka, so the silk uh, clothing of the king, they got ruined because of his interpretations, and uh, therefore the king punished him. So Kefisu train Arze Bechevla, Asr Chad Kare Lechad Arze Bechad Kare Lechad Arze. So they, they tied and they bent down two cedar trees with rope and they tied uh, one leg to one cedar tree and another leg to the other. Veshar Lechavla Adit Stalik Reshe. And so then they released the rope and the uh, tree snapped back and it split him in half up through his head. And that was his punishment. Azal Kol Chad Vechad Vekam Aduchte. Uh, each uh, tree went to its uh, regular sp- uh, uh, regular spot, v'itstalik v'nafal betrain, and then he was uh, split into two, uh, into two separate pieces, and that is the end of the story of Barhedya's interpretations of the dreams. The Gemara now continues with some more interpretations of of dreams. Shal ben Dama ben Achosu shal Rav Yishmal. So ben Dama, who was the son of the sister of Rav Yishmal, asked as Rav Yishmal, he asked Rav Yishmal, Ra'isi shnei l'chayai shenoshu, I saw my two cheeks, my two cheekbones, they were uprooted in a dream. Amar, he said, shnei gedudei rome yatsu alecha ra. There were two, uh, two troops of Rome, uh, two Roman troops who had uh, conspired against you. Vamesu, and they died, and of course the cheeks is a reference to speaking the the uh, conspiracy which they were discussing. Amar le bar kapara le rebi. Bar kapara said to re, to a rebi, Ra'isi chot mi shenashar. I saw my nose come off in a dream. Amar le said charon af nistalik mimcha. That means that the anger has been removed from you. Amar le said to him, Ra'isi shne yaday shenechtecho. I saw my two hands were cut off. Amar le said to him, Lo titzarech lemaisa yadech. It means you're going to be wealthy. You're not going to need the work of your hands. Amar le said to him, Ra'isi. I saw my two legs cut off. Amar Lei said to him, Al Susa Taruch, if you're going to ride on a horse again, it's a reference to the fact that you're going to be wealthy. Uh, then he says, Chazoi da Amri Li Ba'adar Mises Vinison Lo Chazis. I saw in my dream that it was, to- it was told to me that I'm going to die in Adar and I won't see the month of Nisan. Amar Lei, so he said to him, Ba'adrusa Mises Velo Asis Li De Nisayan. Rashi explains what that means. But uh, Adrusa Mises Rashi says, "Bekavod uva hader Thomas, you're going to die with honor, with glory, and you're not going to come to a nisayo, and you're not going to come to be tested." Amar lei hahut seduki le Rabbi Yishmael. A certain seduki said to Rabbi Yishmael, "Ra'isi shani mashke shemen lezesim." I saw that I was pouring oil into the olives. Normally, the olive comes out of the oil. Uh, no, normally the oil comes out of the olive, and he saw the reverse. So Amar Lei said to him, Ba Alimo, since it was reversed, the sign is that uh, this person is, is, has uh, had relations with his mother. Amar Lei said to him, Chazoy de Katif Li Kochva. So then he said, I saw that I uh, grabbed or I uprooted a star. Amar Lei said to him, Bar Yisrael, Ganafta refers to the fact that you have stolen a Jew, like kidnapping. Amar Lei said to him, Chazoy de Balati Li Kochva. I saw that I swallowed a star. Amar Lei, he said, Bar Yisrael Zavante. You sold this Jew who you kidnapped, and you've consumed the money. Amar Lei said to Chazoi, Eini denashkena I saw my eyes knock together, knock one another together. Amar Lei said to him, Bo alachosa, that's a sign that he had relations with his sister. Amar Lei said to him, Chazoi denashki sihara. So he says, I saw that I was, uh, it was knocking against the moon. Amar Lei said to him, Bo al eshes Yisrael. That's a reference to the fact that he was, he had, uh, he had relations with the wife of a Yisrael. Amar Lei said, Chazoi didarichna betuna daasa. I saw that I was walking in the shade of a hadas tree, of a myrtle tree. Amar Lei said, Baal Nara HaMeorasa, that's a sign that he had relations with an engaged young woman that used to wear these myrtles when they got engaged. Amar Lei said to him, Chazoi Tuna Me'iloi Vuhumi Tasoi, he said, I saw the shadow above me, but it was really below me. Amar Lei said to him, Mishkav Chohavach, it means that your relations with this Nara HaMeorasa was done in reverse. Uh, meaning that she was on, she was on top. Amar Lei said to him, "Chazoy Orve da Hadre Lepuria." So he says, "I saw ravens were returning to the bed." Amar Lei said to him, "What does that mean?" Ishta Chazansa Me'anashim Harbe. What it means is that your wife has had relations, has had znus from many men. Amar Lei said to him, "Chazoy Yone da Hadre Lepuria." I saw doves were going to the bed. Amar Lei Nashim Harbe Timesa means that many women you have defiled many women. Uh, the uh, the Gemara continues now. He says, Amar Lei Chazoi Dinaket Shre Yone Uparchan. So he says, I saw that I was uh, holding two doves and they flew away. Amar Lei said to him, Tarte Nashi Nasafta. It's a reference to the fact that you married two women. 
Upatar tinon velo get, and uh, you have let them go without a get. Amar le setem chazoi de khalifna be. I saw that I was uh, peeling eggs. Amar le setem shikhvi kamishalachas. It's a reference to the fact that you've taken clothing off the bodies of the dead. Amar le, so he setem kulu isnu be abi bar meha de lese. He says, everything you've said about me is true except for this last one that it's not true. Adahachi vahachi. Uh, in the meantime, Asya Hai Itza, so there a certain woman came, Vyam Relain, she said to him, Hai Glima de Mixa de Gavra Plonio, the clothing you're wearing belong to so and so. Demis Vashlachte, he died and uh, and you uh, he, you took the clothing off this dead person, so in fact that was true as well. Amar Le said to him, Chazoi de Amri Li, Shavak Loch Avoch Nixe be Kapudkia. So then he said, I saw in a dream that they told me that your father has left you property in Kapudkia. So Amar so he said to him, Is Lach Nixe be Kapurkia? First of all, do you have property in Kapurkia? Amar Lei Lavi said, No. Azal Avach le Kapurkia. So then he asked him, Has your father ever went to Kapurkia? Amar Lei Lavi said, No. So then he said, Im Kain, if so, Kafa Kishura, Deka Asar, if so, you should read it as two words, Kafa from Kapurkia. Kafa means Kishura like the beams of a house, and Deka refers to Asara 10. So Zil Chazi Kafa Deresh Asara, go check the beam, the tenth, the top of the tenth beam, Shimalaya Zuze. That is, uh, it's full of money. Azal Ashgach Shimalaya Zuzin. He went and he, fa- and he found that indeed it was full of money. Gamar now continues with some uh, symbols in a dream and what they stand for. Amar Rabbi Chanina, Rabbi Chanina says, Haroa be'er bechalom roa shalom. If somebody sees a well in a dream, it is a symbol of peace. Shenemar, like it says, Vayachbur avde Yitzchak benachal, vayimtsu sham be'er mayim chaim. That story with Yitzchak uh, ended in a peaceful resolution with those he was uh, arguing with. Rabbi Nasan Omer Matza Torah. Rabbi Nasan says the be'er is a symbol or a sign that he will find Torah. Shenemar, like it says, ki motzoi matza chayim. Referring to those who find Torah, they find chayim. Uchsiv hacha be'er mayim chayim. And the be'er is also referred to as Chaim, so it's a reference to Torah. Rava Amar Chaim Amish, Rava says not, simply means life. A person sees a Be'er in a dream and is a reference to the fact that he'll have a long life. Amar Rabbi Chanan, Rabbi Chanan says, Shalosh Shalomos Hain. There are three things that are symbolic uh, of peace. Nahar, a river, Tzipor is a bird, Ukadeir in a pot. Nahar, Dechsiv, Hinani Nota, Elak, Nahar Shalom, refers to the river with, uh, with the word Shalom. Tzipor, Dechsiv, Kitzipar, Mafos, Ken Yogin, Hashem Tzavakos, Vagom, a reference to the fact that God protects, and the word Tziporim is in the Pasuk. And then Kadeir, Dechsiv, Hashem Tishbos, Shalom Lanu, he's going to set the pot, uh, peace for us. So again, a reference to Shalom. Amar Bichanin, or Bichanina says, Uvikadeir, Rashain Basar, uh, this should be changed to Shanemar. Uh, so we're talking specifically about a, uh, a pot that doesn't have meat. As it says, This is a uh, negative reference uh, to Basar here. You can see the Pasuk in full. Uh, it's referring to destruction. And the Pasuk ends, So, uh, so therefore, Kedeira, with Basar is going to be problematic. Amar Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi. Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi says, Haroan Nahar bechalom. If somebody says a river in a dream, Yashkim v'yomar hinani nota ila kenahar shalom. He should wake up and say the pasuk of uh, with a reference to peace. Kodem shiyek temenu pasuk achar ki yavo kanar tsar. There's another pasuk that he might end up saying, which refers to the pain and the affliction that will come with the nahar. So he should make sure to say the positive pasuk and not the negative. Similar things are going to come up in the following lines of the Gemara, where a person should say uh, the the pasuk, which is a reference to positive predictions and not negative ones. So haroat Sibor Bachalom, somebody sees a bird in a dream. Yashkim Yomar Kitsiparm Afos Kenyagin Vagomar, the same Pasuk we quoted before about peace by the bird. Kodem Shik the Menu Pasuk Achar Kitsipor no dedes min kona vigomer. That Pasuk is a reference to somebody who is uh, uprooted from his place. He is in exile. You can see the end of the Pasuk here. Kitsipor no dedes min kina, ken ish no ded mimakomo, like a Tsipor that is uh, goes from its nest. So to a person who's uprooted from his place. Kitsipor no dedes min kina vigomer. Haroa Kedeh. Somebody sees a pot in a dream. Yashkim v'yomar Hashem tishbos shalom lanu. Again, the pasuk we referenced before to peace. Kodim shik the menu pasuk acher before the uh, following pasuk. Shafos hasir shafos, which refers to setting down of the pot. This is a pasuk in Yechezkel here. Pasuk says a mashol al beis hameri mashol v'yamarta lem koamar Hashem alokim shafos hasir shafos v'gam yitzok bo mayim. Again, a reference to the destruction. 
Gemara then says, Somebody sees uh, grapes in a dream, he should say the Pasuk of Ka'anovim Bamidbar. Again, this is a reference to a positive, the full Pasuk here. Ka'anovim Bamidbar Matsasi Yisrael Kivikura Betainu Bereshisa. I have found the Jews like Anovim Bamidbar, so it's a reference to the fact that they were saved by HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And then uh, instead, say that Pasuk instead of the following. Kodim Sheyik Hadmenu Pasuk Achar, Anoveimo in Veirosh. So Anoveimo in Veirosh Pasuk in Hazinu, referencing some of the sins. Haroa Har Bechalom, Yashkin Viyomar, if somebody sees a mountain in a dream, he should say, Manovu Al Haharim, Ragli Mevaser. Kodim Sheyik Hadmenu Pasuk Achar, Al Haharim, Esa Bechi Vanehi. Again, that second pasuk is a reference to crying. Uh, no, on the other hand, a person sh- uh, should say the pasuk of Ma'anavu al Harim, which is referring to uh, Besuros Tovos, which is referring to good news. Gemara now continues. Haro a shofar b'chalom. If somebody sees a shofar in a dream, yashkin v'yomer v'hoya v'yomahu yitaka b'shofar gadol, referring to the coming of Mashiach. Kodim sheik hadmenu pasuk acher tiku shofar begiva. He should not say the pasuk of tiku shofar begiva. This pasuk is a pasuk in Hoshea. It's referring to the uh, exile, the destruction of the ten tribes. Haro a kelev b'chalom yashkin v'yomer l'chol b'nei Yisrael lo yechatz kelev l'shono that no uh, no dog uh, lifted his uh, mouth, his his face to attack the b'nei. Yisrael, when the Bnei Yisrael were leaving Mitzrayim, lo yechatz kelav l'shono didn't uh, didn't uh, wet his tongue. Kodem shiik had menu pasuk acher before you start uh, before you say this other pasuk. Vaklovim as a nefesh that the the dogs are greedy. Haro ariba chalom yashkin v'yomar arye shog milo yira. Person sees a lion in a dream, he should say that the uh, pasuk which says the lion screams, who is not afraid? Kodem shiik had menu pasuk acher before he says the following pasuk. Ale arye misvacho. The uh, lion which goes up from its lair, uh, which is a pasuk that uh, is, refers to the negative, mashchis goyim, the pasuk continues, that the, uh, it destroys nations. Haroet tegalachas bechalom, yashkin v'yomar v'yegalach v'yechalef simlosav, person sees uh, shaving in a dream, so he should say the pasuk that refers to Yosef when he was pre- when he was preparing to see Paro. Kodem shiik admenu pasuk acher, before he says the following pasuk, pasuk im galachti v'sarmi meni kochi, this is a Pasuk that refers to Shimsho and talking about the fact that if he, he would shave his hair, he would become weaker. Haroa be'er bechalom, Yashkin v'yom, a person say, sees a well in a dream, he should get up and say be'er mayim chayim, a positive uh, reference to a be'er. Kodem sheik had menu pasuk acher, kehakir bir me meha. So this uh, pasuk over here could see the entire pasuk. Kehakir bayer, rather, kehakir bayer me meha, kein hekero ro'asa chamas v'shod, referring to evil to destruction, so you should uh, um, avoid that pasuk, and instead you should say the pasuk, uh, again you should say the pasuk of Be'er uh, Mayim Chayim. Haroe kone b'chalom, yashkim v'yomar kone rotzitz lo yishav, a person needs a reed in a chalom, he should say how the reed uh, does not get broken. Kodem yishay kamenu pasuk acher, hinei batach l'cha meshenes ha-kone ha-rotzitz. It's referring to the fact that uh, Klal Yisrael in this was, re- was relying on other nations to save them, Pasuk in Malachim, and it says you relied on this reed, this broken reed. Uh, it, was, it refers, I believe, to the fact that they were relying on uh, Mitzrayim. Tanura Bonan, we learned in a Brisa, Haroe Kona Bechalom Yitzapel Chachma. If a person sees a reed in a dream, he should hope for wisdom. Shenemra, like it says, Kne uh, Chachma, acquire wisdom. So the word Kne, you can understand as a reference to a Kona, to a reed. Kanim, if he sees many reads, it's Abel Bina. Should, uh, he should hope for Bina understanding, not just wisdom. Shanema, like it says, Uvechol Kenyoncha Kene Bina. But that's the same pasuk continues, uh, referring to acquiring wisdom, uh, understanding. Amar Rabbi Zeir, Rabbi Zeir says, Kara, Kore, Kira, and Kanya. If a person sees any of these things, we'll see in Rashi in a moment. Kulu, Malu, Lechelma. They are all uh, good for dreams. Rashi explains what all of these things are here. Um, Kara, Kora, Kira, Kanya, Rashi says, Kara, Dalas, it's a gourd. Kiramin Lakamon, like we say later on, Haroa, Dulu, and Bechalom, Yurei Shamayim, who person sees gourds in a dream, he's a Yurei Shamayim. Kora is the Rach, Hagodal, Ba'an, Fe'adekel. This is the uh, soft part that grows in the branches of a dekel, of a uh, palm tree. Kira refers to Shava, wax, and Kanya refers to Kone, refers to a reed. So if a person sees any of these things, uh, it is considered positive. The Gemara now uh, continues. Gemara says, uh, this was what Rashi just quoted before. Tanya, we learned in a brisa, Ein Marin de Luin, Elulamishu Yare Shamayim. We only show uh, gourds to somebody who is a Yare Shamayim, somebody who has fear of heaven, Bechol Kocha, with all of his strength. 
Haroe Shor Bechalom. A person sees an axe in a dream, Yashkin Vyomer, he should get up and he should say, Bechor Shoro Hadar Lo, Kodim Shi Kadmeno Pasuk Acher. That refers to uh, Yosef. It's a positive Pasuk uh, with a reference to Shor, compares him to an axe. Instead of saying the Pasuk of Kigach Shor Es Ish, referring to the fact that a Shor gores a person. Kamar now continues with the Brisa. Tan Rabbanu, we learned in a Brisa, Chamisha Devarim Namru Bishor. There are five things that are said in reference to an ox in a dream. Haochel mi Besaro Mesasher, somebody who is eating from its flesh. Uh, again, in a dream, these are all in dreams, is, is going to become wealthy. Nagcho, if it gores him, having lay bonim shem nagchim betora, refers to the fact that his children will gore in Torah, they'll be talmidei chachamim. Nashcho, if it bites him in a dream, yisur and bonim olav, that's negative, it means that he's going to have afflictions. Boato, if it kicks him derech rechok in his damnelo, it means that he's going to soon find himself on a long trip. Rachvo, if he's riding, the uh, if he's riding the ox, ola legedul, it means he's going to rise to great positions. So the Gemara says, "Vatanya rachva mace." One second, we have a brayso which says that if the dream, if in the dream he's riding the uh, the shore, it's actually a bad thing; he's going to die. The Gemara says, "Lokash is not difficult." Ha de rachiv hula Torah. One case is referring to where he is riding the donkey. Ha de rachiv tura lidide. The other case where he is uh, where the, uh, do- the not the donkey, the ox. Sorry. One case he's riding the ox, and the other case the ox is riding him. Uh, if he's riding the axe, that's negative, and the reverse is considered positive. If somebody sees a donkey in a dream, he should hope for the salvation. Like it says, reference to uh, the redemption, Mashiach is going to be an Oni who's riding on a donkey. If somebody sees a cat in a dream, if it's in an area where they call a cat a shunra, it's going to be uh, for him like a pleasant song, good things will happen. On the other hand, if it's an area where they call a cat a shinra, it means that a bad change, something negative is going to happen to him. If a person sees grapes in a dream, if they're white grapes, whether it's uh, in their proper time or not in their proper time, that's a good sign. If they are dark, if they're black grapes, in the proper time, that's considered a good sign. If it's in the not, not in their proper time, it is considered bad. So if a person sees a, uh, a horse, a white horse in a dream, whether it's walking pleasantly or whether it's on the chase, Yafalo, that's good. Edom, if it's a red horse, Benachas Yafa, if it's Benachas pleasant, then it's good. Barad of Kosh, if it's chasing, then it is bad. Haroa Yishmoel Bachalom, if somebody sees Yishmoel in a dream, Tfiloso Nishmas, it means that his Tfilo will be heard. Bedafka Yishmoel ben Avram, this only refers to seeing Yishmoel, the son of Avram. Avaltaya Be'almalo, but just to see a general uh, uh, Arab uh, shepherd or uh, wanderer, whatever the case is, that would not be the same sign. Haroa Gamal Bechalom, if somebody sees a camel in a dream, Misa Niknesalom in Hashamayim, it means that he had a uh, judgment against him of death from the heavens, Vitzilumi man, and he was saved from it. Amr Rabbi Chama Rabbi Chanina, Rabbi Chama Rabbi Chanina says, My crow, what is the Pasuk that indicates this uh, reference to a camel? I'm going to go down with you to Mitzrayim and I'll take you up from Mitzrayim. So he was uh, supposed to die and he was brought up. Uh, the reference here doesn't say the word Gamal, but Gam Alo is uh, similar sounding to Gamal. Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak Amr Mehacha, Gam Hashem Havir Chatos Chalosamos, similar from the word Gam, that Hashem has uh, made your sin, has, has uh, cleaned it away and you will not die. Haroa Pinchas Bechalom, if somebody sees Pinchas uh, in a dream, Pela Nasalo means that a wonder will happen for him. Haroa Peel Bechalom, if somebody sees an elephant in a dream, Pelos Nasulo, it means also wonders are going to happen to the person. Pelim, if he sees many elephants, Pile Pelos Nasulo, means uh, many great wonders are going to happen to him. So the Gemara asks, Vatanya, call me Nechayos Yafin Lechalom. The Brisa says that all uh, wild animals in a dream are good, Chutzman Hapilom and Akof, except for the elephant and the monkey. So you just said that an elephant in a dream is positive and the Brisa says it's negative, and the Gemara says, low cash, it's not difficult. The Gemara will make a distinction to answer this question uh, on the next Amr Daf Nun Zayin Amr Aleph.